Hey guys, um, okay, so today we're going to continue detailing the LF1. This is where we left off in the last tutorial. And uh, today we're going to see how to detail this window over here, right? So let's go ahead and jump into our right view. And I'm, what I'm going to do is just because we have um, the sections loaded in this front view, I want to load the elevations in another front view. For doing that, I will just Go to right view and set view to front, and you'll see that I can have actually two front views here, right? So that's quite handy. And I'm going to place an image again, and I'm going to navigate to my Rhino folders, and I'm going to click on elevation, right? And I'm going to place that over there. Um, so we need to do again the placement of this image. This time we have somehow more references, so it should be easier. Um, and if you need more training for doing this, just go to the previous tutorials. And you'll see that it's not so precise, the curvature that we're working with. That's fine. Um, I'm going to try again. This time I'm going to just snap on the top. That seems quite good. And it's just as a reference. Should be fine for now. So we can actually see what is the detail of this window over here. So what I'm going to do now is just determine which are the two elements that I want to work with. Right? Basically, we want to work with this ramp and this facade. And we're going to detail all the, the window over here and the cladding. Um, so let's go and isolate those two by. I'm going to press I enter H enter and that is a shortcut that we we build custom if not you just can go to invert and hide it will be the same thing um, so now we can go in and maybe on our drafting aid slide we can work in this layer to just draw the window right so we can see that the window it's based on a straight line like this and a curve like so. I'm gonna just pass through, right? Perfect. So these two elements, I'm gonna join them by pressing J enter. So I have those two elements joined. Uh, the next thing is that I want basically this line of the ramp right and right now we don't have a curve there we have just a surface so what I'm gonna do is just extract uh, the wireframe of this so uh, a really cool technique in order to let's say what if I only want this line and this one has quite a bit of uh, curves inside right so we can uh, type extract wireframe and when I, we do that, automatically it will create the curves. And don't click outside to just deselect the curves, but just control click the curve that you want to maintain. So you can see that we are deselecting the curve that we want to maintain. And now we can just delete all the other ones. And basically, we ended up with the curve sitting perfectly where we want it, right? So that's good. Now we can actually go ahead and hide this element by pressing H enter. And let's see what we have. So now we have quite clear here what would be this the profile of the window, right? So we can again go ahead and remove that, those two lines. We can get rid of them as well, just to work with the elements that we want. And what we want to do now is just trim these two lines. It's important that apparent intersections is active, right? Because they are not uh, perpendicular. I mean, they are not intersecting really. So we're going to just use those two elements to trim. Right click, trim. So we have those two elements. Uh, and that's looking pretty good. Let's try to um, basically project this curve into the surface in order to be able to 
split the surface, right? So let's say project and select the curves, this one, right click, select the surface, right click, and we ended up with the curve on surface, and we can get rid of the back one, pick it, pick the other one, join by pressing J, enter, right? So at this point we should have one curve that is defining the outline of the window. Let's try to split now. Objects to split this surface, right click. What is the cutting object, the curve, right click. And so we ended up with the outer boundary and the window. So we can go ahead and maybe do a new layer. And we can color it maybe something like that. And change object layers and put this object in the window layer. Um, so that looks pretty good. What we're going to do now is just move this slightly inside. So I'm going to type M, enter, vertical, no. I'm going to press shift. We're going to move it 0 0.24 inside, right? So that's the thickness of the wall. And if we work in this surface layer, we can loft and you see that this is looking pretty good I'm just repeating last command lofting all around the corner so that's looking good let's bring everything back and you see that we have the window uh, the only surface that is actually being annoying here is this one, right? And we will just later on trim this one and get rid of all the edges. That looks fine. But for now, we're going to just uh, work with that still. And so what are we missing? We're missing the cladding, right? So let's uh, build that in a new layer. Maybe this one over here. We're going to just put some brownish color. So, do the cladding now. Um, and I want to work with this layer basically with the same stuff that I had before, right? So, I'm going to bring this tool isolate. Let's see what we have. We have the window, that's good. And if we turn on Drafting aid line, we have this one. This is the one that we care about, right? Because basically, these lines will allow us to trim a series of lines that we will build now. So, what we're going to do is just fill in drafting aid, maybe. Yeah, we're going to do a line that will represent the profile for, for our sweeping tool. Let's see how to do that. So, what we're going to do is to copy this curve. Maybe 0 0.2. Well, that's too much. Let's have a reference of the image. And you can see. So I could calculate the distance between this one and this one. More or less, it's like 0 0.3. Let's try that. So copy 0 0.3. And then you can copy this a few times. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to move this. And notice that these things are not in the same plane, right? I'm going to move by snapping these elements to this line here. I'm going to bring everything to this plane. That is the plane of the surface. So that's looking pretty good. We can actually at this point put it in put these lines in building lines in order not to get confused between the green lines of the cladding and the 
the lines of the, the window. So I'm going to hide everything that I don't care about right now. I could just select all this stuff and type H, enter to hide. All this stuff is just getting in the way with the operation that we want to do. Even the window itself. So what do we want to do here? We want to just uh, maybe do an offset because we don't want to reach the end, right? So the first thing we're going to do is just 0 0.15 and offset like so for the cladding. Right, so let's trim now all these different elements with this element. So you see that we are basically getting rid of all the extra lines and these are outside the window so we can remove them too. And uh, if we look at the image here, we see that the this cladding gets outside a little bit. So maybe we can trim that somewhere there. So let's go ahead and select trim and trim all these elements. This line is also an extra one. So what did we end up with? We ended up with a series of lines that are perfect for our profiles. That's looking very good, All right? So let's select this surface, the window, and the cladding, and isolate them. Again, you can just all this extra material, hide them, so you don't need to work with all those elements that are kind of getting in the way, right? Very clean, very simple. So what is the, um, what are we going to do now? We are basically going to just go into the right view. And we will basically draw the profile that we want to use, right? So let's do something like maybe turn on midpoint, something like this, and then something like this, and mirror, right? And let's put a placement point in the middle. So this sound just looks good. And so I'm going to join these two elements and I'm going to pick it plus the middle point and I'm going to copy it. If you see here, you, you should be able to see some of these points. If not, you just need to go to the perspective view and place them in one of the cladding points, right? The scale seems to be off, clearly. So uh, you can check in the plans what is the size, the real size of them, but I'm going to just eyeball it here. So I'm going to scale this element Sorry, scale again Alright, so I'm going to scale it somewhere there thinking that this is the window and a little bit outside as well Seems pretty good. And you can see that we actually scaled it from a different point. So we can go ahead and try again. So we can scale. And this time I want to make sure that I snap to this point. So somewhere there. And that seems perfect. So what I'm going to do now is just pick this and copy I'm going to turn S track off and go ahead and copy it a few times here Now I'm going to zoom select it because my zoom seems to be off 
slightly and I'm in a perfect situation to just be able to sweep so let's go on the surface, sweep one rail select the rail select the cross section right click and we get this right? let's switch to our cladding layer and let's try that again, surface, sweep one rail select the rail select the cross section right click and you see it works pretty well I'm going to repeat the same operation by right clicking I'm calling the last command and that seems I don't like this color too much, so I'm going to just put something a little slightly more gray. And you can tap those if you want. By placing a planar surface. And then you can do planar surface to all of them, or just copy them, they should be the same. And that looks pretty good. So that's the cladding. Um, you could also work on the trimming of the door if you like to do so. But I'm just going to leave it here for this tutorial. And uh, let's bring back everything and hide this element that is the one that we're going to have to get rid of and change. And you see that. It's looking pretty good. Okay, that's it.